guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow, Legends, everything. So we're going to be talking about the new news that has just dropped actually yesterday. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you know, recently we got the announcement that Arrow is going to be ending after season 8, so it's going to have 10 episodes and then it's officially ending because Steven and the showrunners have all agreed this is probably a good time to end it. So it hasn't been cancelled, even though tons of articles online are saying, oh, it's cancelled and so on and so forth. No, it's just ending because they've announced that it's going to end and I'm guessing Batwoman's probably going to take its place because they are shooting that currently right now. So get ready for that in the fall, I guess, next year. But anyway, for now, we're going to be going over the new news as to the season finale dates and the endings for the Arrowverse. So I'm mainly going to be talking about the Flash, Arrow, Supergirl and Legends, but I can't really say too much about Arrow because like I've said in previous videos, I'm a few episodes behind, so I can't really comment on how I think the season's going to end. So I guess I'll focus more on Arrow and, sorry, not Arrow. I guess I'll focus more on The Flash and Supergirl because, you know, that's what I'm up to date with right now. And Legends hasn't been on in ages and I can barely remember what's going on if I'm honest. So let's go over the season finale dates for all the shows. So Black Lightning is going to be ending on March 18th at its normal time. So that is literally in 15 days. So that's really soon. I'm behind on Black Lightning if I'm honest. I don't find the show to be that good. I think it's... Alright, but there's nothing to sort of hook me in and I don't know I think I'll catch up in the summer on black lightning But yeah, just to let you guys know it's going to be ending Very very soon on March 18th and it's currently the 9th of March All right, so let's move on and arrow is going to be officially ending season 7 It's not going to be ending fully because remember we got season 8 with 10 episodes for arrow next season and it's going to be ending season 7 on May 13th at its normal time, 9pm EST. And so that's when the finale is going to be. And so that's still quite a long way off. This is the normal time the shows sort of end around that middle May area. Which last year obviously we had Supergirl go on that massive break. So Supergirl ended a lot later. I believe it was like late June or something. So it seems like we're probably not going to get too many breaks for Arrow. Maybe like a one week break here and there, I don't know, but it seems like it's going to be sort of pretty straightforward from now on until the end of the season because, again, May 13th is quite far off and it doesn't seem like it's too far off that it's going to have loads of breaks. So let's move on and talk about The Flash. So The Flash is going to be premiering its season finale for season 5 on May 14th so that is in fact the day after Arrow and so that's at its normal time 8pm EST on the CW and so that is going to be the finale and again you know same week as Arrow ending just nothing too special like there's not going to be any like massive breaks or anything like that so you don't have to worry about that like Legends is currently on they're on a massive break and you know Supergirl had it last year and so let's move on to talk about Supergirl and so Supergirl is going to be ending on May 19th so this is the following week this is Sunday and the flash ends on May 14th so that's five days after and it's going to be finishing on that Sunday so again Supergirl is not going to have that you know super long break that it had last season that was just due to them being behind on some of the production and mainly probably to do with Andrew Kreisberg having to lead the show and so they had to get new people to sort of rework the story and things like that so that was the main reason last season so again no big breaks that is going to be happening on Supergirl and so let's move on to talk about Legends of Tomorrow so Legends of Tomorrow is going to actually air its season finale May 20th so this is the day after this is the Monday after Supergirl so that's going to be the last DC TV show on air. So normally Legends actually finishes earlier, so that's kind of weird. But I guess it's because it's gone on such a big break already. And if you didn't know, they've finished shooting Legends already. That's how many episodes they have. They don't have a lot of episodes, so they can shoot it a lot prior and they can sort of get it all ready. So yeah, they've finished shooting already. 
and that last episode is going to be airing May 20th, 2019. And so let's go ahead and talk about some theories and what could be happening and also just quickly to mention I will be having a Supergirl video up. I don't know if it'll go up before or after this but there's a new trailer for Lex Luthor so a lot to look forward to. But let's theorize about how The Flash and Supergirl are going to specifically end this season. So The Flash this season in season 5 has had obviously Nora this whole season and she's a series regular so she's going to be around in the finale but we don't know how it's going to go. We've had little teasers for how she wants to potentially change the timeline and end things so I'm guessing it's going to end the season specifically to Nora with her trying to change the timeline, trying to change things so she can save Barry and I think what's going to happen with Nora is I think there's one way that she doesn't return next season but there's one way that she does return and so the way she doesn't return next season is she's going to be erased she's going to be erased out of existence because if she does succeed in changing what she wants to do she's going to be erased because Barry's never going to not be her father and then she's going to or whoever Barry and Iris's daughter is in the future whether they call it Nora or not is not going to be her so she will be erased it will be a sort of Savitar type situation where she's not actually supposed to be there and she's going to have to be on the run she's going to be like reverse flash and she definitely wouldn't exist and she would be erased so that's one option for how Nora can end the season but how she could continue forward is and this is an interesting theory that I've been thinking about recently I think I did a video on it recently as well is due to the fact that if reverse flash gets out and everything sort of leads to crisis next season she might have to help Barry and she's going to stay around to get reverse flash to stop him because he has turned his back on her and she hasn't been able to change the future so Barry is still going to actually disappear in the future so she won't have a dad even though we know she will get erased but that would give her the motivation and the show would need to keep her on till crisis at least just so that she can save her dad and after that she will get erased as well so I think all the ways if she does save her dad she's definitely getting erased but anyway so how is this season going to end so next episode it looks kind of like Cicada might actually be stopped well that's what the trailers have teased and what everything's teased and we know in a few episodes time we're getting Godspeed which is absolutely incredible and insane so we don't know what capacity he's going to be in but He's 100% in that episode and we know in that episode Barry and Nora go to the future in 2049, we've seen the license plates and so on and Barry knows about Nora and Reverse Flash so all this stuff is getting revealed. Will Godspeed be the villain for the rest of the season? I don't think so. I think it could potentially be Reverse Flash and so why would I say that? Well. Reverse Flash has been around this whole season, he's sort of the mastermind, so with Barry finding out about Reverse Flash working with Nora, Barry's going to want to stop him, and maybe whatever Reverse Flash's master sort of plan is, it pays into the back half of the season, because I don't really see Cicada lasting all the way to the end of the season, because right now we're on episode 15 or so, we're still a long way off from the end of the season, so We've got a long while and just double checking like the actual air date what we're on right now. Yeah, so last episode was actually that King Shark versus Gorilla Grodd episode. I sort of just blanked on that. I don't know why. But that was episode 15 and now episode 16 this week. And then from then on, we've got 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Because there's one last episode this season from the normal 23 episodes. So we've got seven episodes after next week. So, still quite a long time, and I don't think Cicada can last till the very end, or it's going to drag on way too long. And so, that's what I think is going to probably happen at the end of The Flash. But let's talk about Supergirl, what's going to happen. So, we know there's a massive Red Door to Centric episode, as Melissa has teased recently. That's going to be coming up very, very soon. So, look forward to that. And we know Lex Luthor is going to be a big thing in episode 15 and 16. There was the trailer that I talked about. And so I don't think Lex is going to be around till the end of the season. I don't think there's any reason for him to be. I think he's just in for those two episodes, maybe three, I don't know. But Red Daughter, I believe, is going to take over and be the main villain. Because, remember, Supergirl has more episodes than The Flash to go on. Because it's one episode behind, I do believe. 
and so it has a little while to go and they've been teasing Red Daughter for so long that surely she's going to become the main villain and I think Agent Liberty is going to take a back seat as he's going to do after this episode I believe because the Red Daughter episode they've shot it already and it's coming up very very soon and she's presumably going to take over and I think the Lex Luthor episodes are going to link into Red Daughter because the way they tease Red Daughter it seems like someone's helping her and we know from the trailer that Lex Luthor trailer he is trying to change the world in some way and I think Red Daughter might tie in but yeah so that is how I see Red Daughter coming into it that's how I see the villain sort of side of the season ending I think Agent Liberty is going to just sort of be put in prison or something like that I don't think he's gonna die he could die I think Manchester Black's going to go away I don't think any of those are going to stick around into next season and I think next season's sort of just going to be a kind of a clean slate because I don't see any of the these storylines sort of lasting much longer than the season finale. I don't know as in regards to the characters, but we know Wynn's returning next season. Maybe we we'll get the return of Monel, Maggie, you know, because it's the 100th episode, so there's a lot to look forward to in regards to that. Maybe we we'll get some massive returns, which is exciting. But the season finale, obviously, we get cliffhangers and so on. Like, there is going to be a teaser for next season, as they did with Red Daughter, which obviously we've seen her a couple of times, but. They haven't really paid that off yet, so I think everything in the back half is sort of all leading towards Red Daughter and her storyline because, again, I think the Lena and Lex stuff all links into it and it's eventually come to, going to come to fruition and it's just taken a while right now. So that is what I think of how The Flash and Supergirl are going to end this season. Like I said, I can't really comment on Arrow right now. I'm two episodes behind, I believe and Legends, I can barely remember, I haven't watched it since the mid-season finale, which was a long time ago, like a couple of months ago, so I don't think I'm in the right position to theorise about that right now, and like I said, Black Lightning, I'm a bit behind as well, a bit more behind, so again, I guess you guys can theorise about that if you're up to date with everything, but I do intend to catch up with Arrow, because Arrow is going to be ending next season, and I want to cover it every episode if I can, so... Thank you guys so much for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully this was informative in terms of the release dates of the finales, and also if you like the theories let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys later, goodbye.